sister, sis. No, oh, okay. <laughs> what happens when friends become as close to you as sisters? Keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, I'm Kyla Denanyo and Merry Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. This is another video for Vlogmas 2022 and I am covering book reviews every single day for 12 days, okay? So today we're talking about the book, Sister, Sister. This book was written by Eric Drum Dickey. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is African-American literature. So this book is really important to me because this is one of the first books that Eric Drum Dickey wrote. So let me give you a little bit of background because I'm a big fan girl for him. So Eric Drum Dickey actually was an engineer for a number of years. Originally from Memphis, he moves to California. He works as an engineer and his friend asked him to go to a creative writing course. He went to the course and fell in love with writing. And then the rest is history, right? And I learned that from one of the interviews that he gave because I always read the author's notes in the back of the books. I watch any interviews that I could find of him, listen to them as well, because he's really one of my favorite authors, okay? So one of the most important things in this book is when Black meets Chiquita. <laughs> there is drama, there's cheating, there's love letters, there's bricks, there's all this crazy stuff that happens, right? And it's really funny because as you're reading the book, you find out later that Chiquita actually is from Memphis and she ends up going back home to meet up with some family, but you actually see that Eric Drum Dickey constantly mentions Memphis or Tennessee in his books. He really has that strong tie to Memphis and he makes sure that he leaves those little treats in books for the reader to find. So, Black and Chiquita, who are these people, right? This is really important because these are two sisters who aren't related, but become really close friends. And then you have Black and Red, and they actually are blood sisters, don't look anything alike. And then this actually could be called Complicated Families <laughs> because the book also includes Brown, who is the brother of Black and Red, right? Black, Red, Brown. All of them together make up a family, but then you actually get to see how Chiquita comes in and she becomes a really close, a really tight part of the family as well, okay? So the way that Chiquita meets Black is really important because everything from there is a snowball. I mean, snowball. <laughs> it does not stop. It does not slow down at all. The pace of the book is very, very fast. And I love to watch Red and her relationship with her husband, Black as she's starting to date, and Chiquita and her issues and finding out is blood thicker than water. Okay, that common saying that, you know, blood relatives, of course they have blood. If, if you're not blood relatives, it's just water. So would I reread the book Sister Sister? Absolutely yes, okay? One of the strongest reasons why I would reread it is because Eric Drum Dickey's books are time capsules, okay? Sister Sister was published in 1996. You wanna hear people talking about sea phones, pagers, calling answering machines. This book captures all of the jargon, all of the technology, all of the stuff that people were doing in 1996. I sound like a historian, but yeah, with this being one of the first books that he wrote, it really is important to go back and read, even out of order as I'm going through Vlogmas because you need to see the current books that came out within the last couple years and then books that he was writing back at the beginning of his writing career, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me for Vlogmas 2022. This was video 11 as a part of a 12 day series that I'm doing one book review every day for 12 days leading up until Christmas. Okay. So if you enjoyed this book, if you believe that blood is stronger than water, get in the comments, talk to me about it. Talk to me about whether or not you've read this book or if this book even sounds interesting to you. Okay. So I will see you tomorrow for another video of Vlogmas and thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.